Introduction to Seasonal Influenza Flu has been documented as far back as 412 BC. Let's take a journey through the history of flu. Hippocrates, the Greek physician and founding father of medicine, in 412 BC identified a respiratory illness that occurred every year in Perinthus, and so named it the Fever of Perinthus. By the 1450s, this disease had appeared to make it to the New World. The texts from the Aztecs talk of a pestilential catarrh, meaning a mucus infection of the airway. It wasn't until the 1580s that the first documented pandemic occurred. Originating in Asia and Russia, it subsequently spread to Europe, Northwest Africa and the Americas. Around the same time, the Italian phrase influenza del freddo, influence of the cold, was coined, which would later be shortened to the disease we now know as influenza. Further influenza pandemics were documented over the next four centuries, mainly originating in China and Russia. Type Influenza is caused by the influenza virus. There are three types of virus that affect humans, A, B and C. Type C infections generally cause mild illness and are not thought to cause human flu epidemics. Types A and B viruses cause seasonal epidemics of disease. Influenza A viruses are the only influenza viruses known to cause global flu pandemics. Symptoms The severity of influenza can range from mild to very severe symptoms with life-threatening complications and even death. Common symptoms of influenza include fever, body aches, headache, fatigue, cough, runny nose, sore throat. Vomiting and diarrhoea can also be present, though this is more common in children than in adults. Influenza virus destroys cells on the mucosal lining of the airways, causing inflammation. This in turn opens up a route for other pathogens to enter the body, causing further complications including pneumonia, bronchitis or worsening of chronic conditions such as asthma, diabetes and heart disease. Transmission Inflammation of the airways causes the infected person to cough or sneeze. This releases thousands of virus-filled droplets into the surrounding area, which are then inhaled by other people, and thus the disease continues to circulate. Influenza can also be transmitted from touching virus-contaminated surfaces and then touching the mouth, eyes or nose. A person is infectious from the day before symptoms start and up to at least five to seven days after becoming ill. Case outcomes. Spanish flu in 1918 was the last major flu pandemic. It is estimated that 500 million people were infected, a third of the world's population, with over 50 million deaths. The swine flu pandemic of 2009 was the most significant in recent times. Mortality and morbidity rates were relatively low, with children and young adults most severely affected. Globally, up to 500,000 deaths occur each year due to flu. Those over 65 years, pregnant women, and people with underlying health conditions are usually most at risk. Mortality and morbidity rates have significantly reduced since the introduction of the influenza vaccine. However, antigenic shift is a real risk. A major change of the virus in an animal population can produce a new virus strain, which could infect humans. With no immunity to this new virus in the human population, this could lead to a significant pandemic. Research is currently prioritising work on a universal influenza vaccine to address this risk.